Okay, explain what you have now in the bowl. <laughs> I want to wait. <laughs> That doesn't look like caviar, Chef. <laughs> so it takes a little bit of finesse to make the drops actually look like drops. They may look like tiny worms, as is shown here. You guys mm -hmm. can see it on the screen, there? too. Um, but I'll show you how to fix that. <laughs> Catherine, you have a lid for this yeah. one? She teaches here every every month. I'm used to having 15 students help me at a time. I'm used to doing everything myself. What are you guys doing? You're all lazy. Get up off your butts. Get up here and help. All right. Okay. Here's the process. Typically, this will be half full. It's very easy. It almost squeezes itself. <laughs> all right. Here we go. And again, there's a block of dry ice in here, and what's the liquid? Is that just? This is just um, vegetable oil. Okay. So you can do this the old-fashioned way. Put your vegetable oil in the freezer uh, for a few hours until it's almost hard. Um, and that helps the, the gelatin not be too hot, helps it set up. Um, or you can do it the fun way. Uh, which is great for demo purposes, um, and stick a drop, a uh, big block of uh, ice, the dry ice in it, and this has remained really cold for an hour sitting out because the dry ice is slowly uh, keeping it cold. So I've dropped some of these guys in here, and then we can take them out and make them look much better. Okay. Christina now digging out one of the little tomato it worms. looks like a little worm. And now and is cutting the worm in half. Cut him into little tiny pieces. And you can be as delicate as you want. And then once we start pushing all these little pieces together, it starts look to at that. more it and does more look like, caviar. like caviar. Or since it's red, more like a salmon rope. Very cool. <laughs> 